even undiscovered planets in the solar system, if any should exist, could not account for Oumuamua's trajectory nor boost its speed to the observed value. For these reasons, Oumuamua can only be of interstellar origin. Oumuamua entered the solar system from north of the plane of the ecliptic. The pull of the sun's gravity caused it to speed up until it reached its maximum speed of 87.71 km per second as it passed south of the ecliptic on 6 September, where the sun's gravity bent its orbit in a sharp turn northward at its closest approach on 9 September at a distance of 0.255 astronomical units from the sun, i.e., about 17% closer than Mercury's closest approach to the sun. The object is now heading away from the sun towards Pegasus towards a vanishing point 66 degrees from the direction of its approach. On the outward leg of its journey through the solar system, Oumuamua passed beyond the orbit of Earth on 14 October with a closest approach distance of approximately 0.1618 astronomical units from Earth. On 16 October it moved back north of the ecliptic plane and passed beyond the orbit of Mars on 1 November. Oumuamua passed beyond Jupiter's orbit in May 2018 beyond Saturn's orbit in January 2019, and will pass beyond Neptune's orbit in 2022. As it leaves the solar system it will be approximately right ascension 23 feet 51 inches and declination 24 degrees 45, in Pegasus. It will continue to slow down until it reaches a speed of 26.33 km per second relative to the Sun, the same speed it had before its approach to the solar system. On the 27th of June 2018, Astronomers reported a non-gravitational acceleration to Oumuamua's trajectory, potentially consistent with a push from solar radiation pressure. The resulting change in velocity during the period when it was near its closest approach to the Sun summed to about 17 meters per second. Initial speculation as to the cause of this acceleration pointed to the comet-like outgassing, whereby volatile substances inside the object evaporate as the Sun heats its surface. Although no such tail of gases was observed following the object, Researchers estimated that enough outgassing may have increased the object's speed without the gases being detectable. A critical reassessment of the outgassing hypothesis argued that, instead of the observed stability of Oumuamua's spin, outgassing would have caused its spin to rapidly change due to its elongated shape, resulting in the object tearing apart. Accounting for Vega's proper motion, it would have taken Oumuamua 600,000 years to reach the solar system from Vega. As a nearby star, Vega was not in the same part of the sky at that time. Astronomers calculate that 100 years ago the object was 83.90.090 billion kilometers, 52.10.056 billion miles from the Sun and traveling at 26.33 kilometers per second with respect to the Sun. This interstellar speed is very close to the mean motion of material in the Milky Way in the neighborhood of the Sun, also known as the local standard of rest, and especially close to the mean motion of a relatively close group of red dwarf stars. This velocity profile also indicates an extrasolar origin, but appears to rule out the closest dozen stars. The closeness of Oumuamua's velocity to the local standard of rest might mean that it has circulated the Milky Way several times and thus may have originated from an entirely different part of the galaxy. It is unknown how long the object has been traveling among the stars. The solar system is likely the first planetary system that Oumuamua has closely encountered since being ejected from its birth star system, potentially several billion years ago. It has been speculated that the object may have been ejected from a stellar system in one of the local kinematic associations of young stars within a range of about 100 parsecs, some 45 million years ago. The Carina and Columba associations are now very far in the sky from the Lyra constellation, the direction from which Oumuamua came when it entered the solar system. Others have speculated that it was ejected from a white dwarf system and that its volatiles were lost when its parent star became a red giant. About 1.3 million years ago the object may have passed within a distance of 0.16 parsecs to the nearby star TYC 47421027-1, but its velocity is too high to have originated from that star. System, and it probably just passed through the system's Oort cloud at a relative speed of about 15 km per second. A more recent study using Gaia Data Release 2 has updated the possible past close encounters and has identified four stars, which that Oumuamua passed relatively close to and at moderately low velocities in the past few million years. This study also identifies future close encounters of Oumuamua on its outgoing trajectory from the Sun. In September 2018, astronomers described several possible home star systems from which Oumuamua may have originated. In April 2020, Astronomers presented a new possible scenario for the object's origin. According to one hypothesis, Oumuamua could be a fragment from a tidally disrupted planet. 
If true, this would make Oumuamua a rare object, of a type much less abundant than most extrasolar, dusty snowball, comets or asteroids. This scenario leads to cigar-shaped objects whereas Oumuamua's light curve favors a disc-like shape. In May 2020, it was proposed that the object was the first observed member of a class of small H2 ice-rich bodies that form at temperatures near 3 kelvins in the cores of giant molecular clouds. The non-gravitational acceleration and high aspect ratio shape of Oumuamua might be explainable on this basis. It was later calculated that hydrogen icebergs cannot survive their journey through interstellar space. Initially, Oumuamua was announced as Comet C, 2017 U1 based on a strongly hyperbolic trajectory. In an attempt to confirm any cometary activity, very deep stacked images were taken at the Very Large Telescope later the same day, but the object showed no presence of a coma. Accordingly, the object was renamed a 2017 U1, becoming the first comet ever to be re-designated as an asteroid. Once it was identified as an interstellar object, it was designated 1I 2017 U1, the first member of a new class of objects.